Just beautiful. All new at 530 February is American Heart Month, the time that until October, a local firefighter didn't even think much up until he himself faced a life or death situation. He became one of the millions of Americans that had to undergo emergency surgery on his heart. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer has his life saving message. A few months ago, October 30th started as a pretty normal day for Tony Chin. The Tamarack Fire Rescue Captain was teaching at the Coral Springs Fire Academy that day. He felt a little tired and weak, but didn't think too much of it until a friend, a fellow firefighter, noticed something was off. He said, uh, you know, just something didn't look right. He goes, and, you know, let's, let's go to the hospital and get checked out. And then he pulled my line, which I always tell my patients, hey, if it's nothing, you'll be home in an hour. It wasn't nothing. It was an, an MI. I had a 100% blockage of the rhombus, and I also had a 70% blockage of another area in the posterior part of my heart. It was serious. The 47 year old dad found himself at Broward Health Medical Center and then in the cardiac ICU with a coronary artery disease that could have led to a heart attack. He is very lucky. He is very lucky. Dr. Mohammed Osman performed the emergency life saving surgery to remove the blockages in Chin's heart. Fire rescue staff, in particular, they are people at the top of their game. They are in a top physical and mental condition. And it, sometimes it's hard to believe that it will happen to me. Today, Captain Chin is out of the hospital, but still goes to cardiac rehab three times a week. This February, this heart month, this firefighter is asking everyone to know the signs, like chest pain, nausea, vomiting, or sweating. He's especially calling on his fellow firefighters who aren't used to being the patient to take care of themselves, too. As he reflects on what could have happened had he not gotten the medical attention he did, thanks to those doctors and an observant friend. During the whole process, I could just think about my family and what would happen if I wasn't there, and it hurt, hurt so bad. So his message to everyone and to other firefighters, be sure to know the signs and listen to your friends. In Tamarack, I'm Brooke Schaefer, CBS4 News.